eBay's Our Garden and Special Delivery from the United States were all those titles. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that on my channel and now I can thanks to the bearded Reef Ross up in Scotland who made me my intro titles. Well this video today is an update on the tank, my new eBay Zoa Garden and a special delivery from the United States. But we all know what 2021 is all about. 2021 is all about bringing this Red Sea Max Nano Tank to maturity with beautiful corals, fish life and invertebrates. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Many people in the comments to my videos say Go on eBay, go on eBay, buy yourself some corals, there's some great choice. And I went on, dangerous this was, late at night, half 11, looking on eBay, and I looked at Zoas. Now, there is so much choice for Zoas on eBay. Single polyps, double polyps, colonies, and they all look absolutely stunning. So I was sucked in to the eBay machine of coral shopping late at night on Monday. So. I'm going to show you what I purchased. Let's take a look at my first purchase and see how it went. My Raptor Zoas. Here we go. Let's have a look. What have we ordered? I've ordered these. So I've ordered some, hopefully that's coming out in the video, some um, Zoa Raptor Rainbow Colours. Three polyps or three heads for $22.99 plus $9.99 delivery from. They do look really good, don't they? Uh, this is a WYSIWYG. I know on my previous videos, uh, I uh, didn't always, well, my Duncans weren't WYSIWYG. These are WYSIWYG. So these should look exactly the same as the picture. I've paid $32.99 for these three polyps. Uh, again, which is quite expensive. And I've purchased them from uh, Tank Tails on eBay. Tank Tails, if you know him, I don't know. Um, look at the ratings. So he's got 100% positive feedback. He's had over 1,800 uh, comments and then he's got lots of frags. So this guy seems uh, pretty good. What I would say first of all is the communication has been absolutely brilliant. He messaged me to say, uh, are you going to be in on Wednesday if I send out the corals? And to his word, he sent them to arrive on Wednesday morning. They came raw mail. They are uh, well packaged and on time. So let's let's take a look at what we've got as we go through. So it's on a, a tiny piece of it'll look like rock scape, and we've got two and one tiny head there. But as you know, with these zoas, they can grow really, really quickly. So that's there. I'm going to put a few dips, as I always do. Hopefully, of Coral Pro RX when that arrives in the next day or two. But a few dips of this into that. This will help with any healing process, but it will also help to clean down the frag plug. As I say, yeah, I know it's not as good as the Coral RX products, but it is the best I've got at the moment, guys. So just bear with me. So as you can see, I just jet it down. It will stay in here for about 15 minutes in the dip. I'll wash it all down and then we'll get it into the tank. So you've seen this process before a million times of, well not a million, but at least three or four times on my videos what I do here. So after it's been in here for about 10 to 15 minutes, I'll then go into the rinse one. Uh, this is just RO water for again about five minutes, jetting it down. Then it'll spend about five minutes in this one and then we'll put it in the tank. Like everybody on YouTube, we're all learning on this journey. So, I have many comments about me using Reef Dip by Seachem on a number of my previous videos where I've purchased new corals. People saying it's for coral disease and coral tissue damage. It's not really for dipping for parasites, hitchhikers and all those nasties. And I want to protect my investment here. It's quite expensive, as you all know who watch this channel. So, I've upgraded to... Coral RX Pro. It is an expensive upgrade. That one's about eight pound a bottle. This one's about 18 to 19 pound a bottle. But for my second lot of Zoas that I purchased from eBay, the Rainbow Pharaoh Zoas, I bought them from Cassim 18. I actually dipped them in Coral RX. Let's take a look at my second set of Zoas for my little boy Zoa Garden dipped in Coral RX. Don't you just love coming home from work to find out that you've got a coral delivery? This is my second 
eBay Coral, you probably saw the first one in the earlier part of today's video. So we're going to get this one acclimated and dipped. I'm not going to show you the whole process because you've seen it on many of my videos. You've even seen it on this video earlier on. So I'm going to save you the time of watching me do my, my triple dip in. But there's some more exciting developments. So I normally use Reef Dip Seachem. This is a chemical uh, kind of healing for corals. It's not really a proper dip. So to protect our very expensive investments we put so much money into these tanks if you've not seen how much money I put into my tank go and check out the video how much have I spent on my Red Sea Max 9 now I know many of you said you are crazy to put that video out but I wanted to keep track of how much I spent I spent a lot of money on this tank uh, livestock and, and, and various bits of equipment so it's really important that we protect everything that goes in there so on Harrow's investment uh, and many of the people that comment on the channel you've said get some coral RX dip so it arrived today alongside my coral perfect timing and Coral RX is not cheap, so I bought this £18.34 from Charterhouse Aquatics. It was over £20 once I put the postage on there, but this is designed to prevent uh, Acropora flatworms, Montipora flatworms, Nudibronx, Bristle worms, Zoanthid eating spiders, flatworm, green algae, um, it even stops things like Bryopsis and uh, zoanthid kind of uh, beasties as well that attack it. So if it does all that in one dip, it's certainly worth the investment. So here is, we've got uh, uh, our original dip here. We've just got some RO water that's to room temperature and we've got our reef dip. Now this coral here came from, uh, again I say it's from eBay, it came from here. It is a pretty pricey uh, kind of premier zoa. It's a rainbow uh, Faro zoa, two headed, sixty pounds uh, plus ninety pa uh, pounds postage. So this is a premium zoa to add to our zoa garden. I'm looking for this to be a wow zoa. Uh, it's come from Cassim M18. Um, he's got really good reviews on eBay. So. Uh, let's let's take a look so the importance of dipping I say this is a 60 pound frag I don't really know too much about the host tank where it's come from um, oops uh, I can only assume that it's come from a good home which it looks like on the pictures but I, I really don't want to run the risk of putting something into the tank might be carrying hitchhikers. As the phrase goes, dip it, don't risk it. There you go reefers, top tip for life that is. Dip it, don't risk it. So let's have a quick quick glimpse at the frag. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's been relatively newly fragged. We've got we've got four four heads on there, it does look really really clean but I'm going to give it a dip with our new Coral RX dip. So all we need is a few drops of this into here with the pipette. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight full up. So I put eight drops of the Coral RX. I'm wearing my uh, my usual rubber gloves just to protect myself and now I'm going to jet it down with our usual turkey baster as well. So the next time you're going to see this rainbow zoa is actually going to be in the tank because you've seen all this before, uh, you've seen me attaching corals to rocks and things. So we're going to go back to the studio and you're going to see what this rainbow pharaoh zoa looks like once we get it inside the tank. So you probably saw from my earlier video this week, if you haven't seen it, go check it out, Down on the Reef series. So as I'm sat here being not furloughed, but working from home predominantly, I get to take in the beauty of the stories that are told inside the reef tank behind me, from the fish, the invertebrates and uh, the corals. So what I'm going to do every now and again is I'm going to do kind of five minutes, small bites, documenting the life from the reef, from the life on the reef, the actual fish, corals and invertebrates. A bit like a wildlife special, but from the reef tank. So hopefully you like 
liking those down on the reef check out those when they come out hopefully you're going to enjoy i want i want to i want to tell the story not just of my tank and my build i want to tell the story of the actual life down there and it's so exciting to watch you know if you've got a reef tank uh, how great this is and if you haven't get yourself a reef tank lockdown three is perfect for reefing you've got so much time on your hands to sit there whilst you're working or just relaxing and enjoy a reef tank anyway let's have a little look at those uh, zoas today as you know this is my third coral online shop so my first one was the duncan coral which is looking a lot better now um it's all it's all puffed out looking really full uh, not so colourful at the moment. It's not getting the colours that I like. You know, on the, on the photograph that I showed you, it was showing really vibrant colours, um, and it's not quite popping with colours, but it's looking super healthy and it's enjoying its position down in that bottom corner. Now, to my raptor zoas, uh, this is what they looked like from tank tails, raptor zoas, and there they are at the back sorry to disappoint guys yeah these have been in the tank about three to four days and they still haven't opened the polyps are still soft um they, they you know they they're not they're not dead i don't think they're dead anyway um but at the moment i'm just waiting for them to open out i'm gonna perhaps reposition them in the tank to see if i can get them to open up quickly so uh the raptor zoas <sighs> I still don't know what they look like. <laughs> I say this is the beauty of online shopping because it's the surprise of um, you know seeing what you've actually purchased. But mine still haven't opened up yet. So, uh, any tips for getting your um, your zoas to open? I did watch Reef King's video and put them under fresh water for a little bit of time, run them under fresh water, which I've tried, but that still hasn't helped them to work. Right, my last ones were the Rainbow Fairy zoas. Look how beautiful they are. Right, they're round here as you've probably seen from my previous video again you're not getting the best lighting but there they are they're looking pretty cool actually they've opened up kind of partially opened up but that's what they are but i'm gonna say this thank you to all the uh, uh fraggle reef tail tanks and cassim 18 uh for getting me my uh corals and they are all arrived you know alive and and well packaged however i'm gonna say this i'm not doing any more online coral shopping I'm going to wait till I get to Cellar Marine. Now you can probably see my other corals that I bought. I bought them from Cellar Marine, Stoke-on-Trent. I actually went into the shop and picked them out. I don't think there's a substitute from going in a shop, actually seeing the corals under the light and looking at, at looking at them before you purchase them. And these are expensive items. You know, I've spent uh, well over a hundred pound on those three corals, and they're not. They look right. Uh, this is how I describe it. They look like a McDonald's menu. Yeah, you know when you see McDonald's menu, I think there's some really good photography going on with all these filters and cameras that people have got. And you see your, but you see your big tasty on the menu. You see it up there, and you think, oh god, that was so good. And then when you get it, you've got one scraggly bit of lettuce in there, and it, you know, it never looks like the picture. And that's what I'm finding. So I'm going to go back to uh, visiting the shops to go get my corals. Um, that's what. That's just a decision I made. And the beauty of that is I'm going to take you guys with me. I do want to check out a few more shops. Uh, obviously, I do love Cellar Marine. It's an absolutely brilliant shop. Get a chance to go and visit it. Uh, but I'm going to try out Future Frags. I think that's also in Stoke-on-Trent Way and Wharf Aquatics, which is in North Derbyshire. So I'm going to spread my wings and go and visit some other ones. Anyway, let's have a little look at my special delivery from the USA. Now, I think most of you will probably guess what this might be because a few of you have probably either got one of these or wanted to get one or thinking about getting one uh, in time so it came with UPS now just by showing you the box you can probably guess what this is yes I've already got one I know I've already got one I've got my D&D jump guard which I absolutely love by the way this has saved me an absolute fortune if you haven't seen my video about D&D jump guard check it out on the channel uh, how I built it it is a lovely lid and I don't really want to get rid of it it's a sleek design it was well put together it saved my radions from hitting the water uh, so that saved me about 400 pound and I'm not joking it stopped the goby from jumping out at least 20 plus times so it's been worth its weight in gold and it's not going to be thrown away however i've gone for what well the rolls royce of lids in theory so before well in october in october i purchased this um from clear view lids and it has arrived october i purchased it and it has arrived 
today and I am so excited because I'm actually unboxing this on the video live right now as you can probably see so it is a laser cut lid and there it is now um, it's the exoskeleton so it comes in different sections there and it's got one feeding door or trap door here and that is what it looks like now it's come very well packaged it has got behind it some kind of cellophane protective cellophane but that looks really good nice clear view mesh as well um, so what I want to do is I want to get it on the tank and I'll show you it once I've removed the the cellophane kind of packaging and I'll show you what it looks like now what I'm really excited about is the lighting effect that these give when you've got the the radio or you've got any um, reef lights it shines through the actual uh, lid and it looks like a really cool effect but anyway get back to you in the video once I've got it fully fully unpackaged but that's it the exoskeleton lid from Clearview for the Red Sea made to measure Max Nano let's have a little look at it on the on the on the tank so now we've got it all unpackaged this is what the exoskeleton lid looks like it's small sections looking like a child's jigsaw that fit together with mesh in between uh, this one's got one large door so you can really personalize it to how many doors you want how many cutouts you've got mine's got one little cutout there in the top left hand corner just for my uh, temperature thermometer bar and the wave maker lead so I've got one door originally I actually asked for three doors one on either side and then one at the front and they got back to me and said uh, it's really not gonna work you're gonna have more doors than actual lid so we recommend you just go for the one door on the front section so that's what it looks like and this cost me a hundred and sixty nine pounds and then I think the, the the transportation took it over two hundred pounds so this is uh, an expensive buy especially for a tight Yorkshireman like me but let's have a little look at how it it sits on the tank and uh, give you a view of this one so I'm just going to slot it on there and get you off the stand now no surprise it sits absolutely flush to the tank um, they make these for all different sizes of tanks I wouldn't be able to afford one if I had a big tank uh, I don't know what they cost but there's a little feeding door it kind of slots in really thick um, is it PVC or acetate plastic but there you go you've got the exoskeleton gives you far more spaces so it allows the, the lid to breathe less condensation and so that's what it looks like there's the little cutout there for the wires I will put a link in the description for this video uh, clear view lids I know there's some people in the UK that also do these lids as well but uh, I, I just went for the I just went for the clear view because I've heard really good things about it but there you go how does that look yeah I do love my D&D jump lid still I've got no problems with that in fact for the money you cannot go wrong with a D&D jump lid but that now is starting to look pretty pretty special so back to the studio so I want to wrap this video up and if you're still watching thank you so much for watching this extended version of Jay's Real Reef UK I want to wrap it up by giving you a few updates on the tank itself and then some special mentions to some people and channels that I've come across very recently so what's happened with the tank the, the phosphates are a little bit high in my tank at the moment I measured them yesterday they were 0 0.16 parts per million so I am going to do a bit of maintenance today I'm going to change out the, the I'm going to wash out the filter sock I'm going to change the row of phos and and I'm going to clean out the skimmer so there's a little bit of maintenance for you someone did comment on one of my previous videos said your sand is really clean I've never actually uh, thought about that or noticed that but I do vac the sand uh, on most of the water changes I've got a siphon pump that vacs all the uh, the rubbish out of the sand so that's keeping it a little bit clean but also which I did do that not many not so many reefers do, do is I use coral pro sand ar aragonite but it wasn't live it had no live substrate so it was completely dead to start with I don't know if that's helping out with the tank however my tank as you can probably see it's looking a little bit through its ugly stage or its dirty stage at the moment there's a lot of browning on the rocks and things and I think that's just a case of where we are in the tank the tank at the moment is about three months old and it's just going through its ugly phase so sorry if you've had to look at my tank in its ugly phase hopefully we get through that in the next couple of weeks anyway on to my special mentions Russell Brooks if you're watching thank you so much for sharing your images of your coral hall Russell 
managed to buy 18 corals for less than £100. There's the challenge if you're watching. Who's managed to get more corals for less money than that? 18 for £100. He spent his Christmas money on it. I wanted to see his, uh, his haul and he shared some pictures via email. I'll put my email link in the description of this video so if you want to send me pictures please do. Another chap who sends me pictures is Gary. Uh, Gary thank you for your images. He's got two tanks. He's a lucky, a lucky chap. Uh, he's got two tanks. One for him which looks absolutely stunning but I love his daughter's Fluval Evo fully stocked with corals he's even got a tiny little puffer fish in there which looks really really cool um, and thank you for sharing your pictures as well awesome so please that's all I do that's why I'm on YouTube I'm no expert I don't think and I don't claim to be good at this sort of thing I just want to share my journey so if you want to share your journey I'd love to see it and yet if you haven't got a YouTube channel or Instagram then please just send me an email with some photographs of your corals and your tank because I love to see everybody else's it's great special mentions I'm gonna to go to reef CT7 he's got a channel on YouTube and he goes round his uh, his tank talking about his corals doing a coral update and talks about the key of patience so reef CT7 check out his channel it's really good obviously bearded reef get on to him he's awesome a couple of new channels that I've just subscribed to that I'm really enjoying is Colette's reef you're doing a great job I am jealous of all the corals that you've got in there and you've also got merch so I need to get on with this because I'm falling behind I've only just got a logo sorted uh, and an intro but you are well ahead and I'm loving watching your channel as well and last but not least JD Reef JD Reef I think has been going for ages but I've only just discovered his channel he's another Scottish friend who's got his channel up there and he's doing a great job he's on the recovery stage of his uh, reef tank and that's great to watch as well so if I've missed anybody out I do apologize and if you comment on the video I always try to get back to you because I think it's important if you take the time to comment on on Jay's Real Reef UK it's only fair that I actually reply and respond to your comments but you guys are absolutely incredible and thank you for all the support so far if you enjoyed today's video give me a thumbs up if you're still watching I appreciate that thumbs up uh, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell we'll try and get a video out to you next week maybe a down on the reef special give you a bit more update on the life there but anyway I'm gonna go now wishing you family and friends really well in these difficult times and thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it and for now take care thank you